Check it here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be diving into a couple Operation Attacks, and uh, I read a couple comments uh, recently saying that, uh, hey, chicken, like we like your Operation Attacks, or whatever, but like you should you should take like a little bit of time and actually plan it and like show us how to like not show us, but like um, go through how you would do it like properly right like how you do an actual operation and like like what the notes look like and stuff rather than just be like duh, 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 I'm like goofy chicken and like doing these stupid attacks stuff like that's what like bent him one and like I never actually watch reversals videos but I assume um, that he did too he's kind of a <clears throat> goofy guy so so uh, yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to do this uh, properly guys so I'm gonna be doing conifold and you see, uh, you see that right there, the chicken actually wrote out a couple of these notes here. Um, now whether they actually followed them or not. Um, I'll zoom behind the core, two shocks. So let's see what they ended up doing for complex. Um, so we'll see how this went out. I think, I think what I said is possible. I'm pretty sure I've seen it done. Yeah, yeah, that's how we do it before. Two shocks, and oh no, guys, guys, looks like he's going the wrong way. He's uh, he's pulling the chicken because complex was the was the mines equals bad video. The the infamous chicken, what started uh, what started us on that uh, horrible mine run. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, you see, he's going up the same way here. I wonder if he actually steps in the mines. That would be too funny. Uh, no, okay, he actually he actually went left properly. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So the problem with him going this way is that there's going to be three different sets of rocket launchers in range. If he had gone up the other side, like it almost worked, it probably could have cleaned it up a bit, but if he had gone the other side, then he would have just had the one shock there, and then that one, two, three, four, the fifth rocket launcher on the bottom right there wasn't actually in range on the core, so he could have got the rest of them in uh, in one shock. Um, so that was kind of my plan, but I mean, he basically did it, um, he did it anyways. About, I'm, I'm gonna say about to do con. Do con. Nice. Um, yes, yeah, so based on my plan, see the note there. Um, this one's a tough one. Uh, I've never actually done this one before, but I've seen enough people do it. Uh, I'll have to clear those mines, and then basically. Um, I can land the Zookas on the front, and I can take out a couple barrels, and then I'll group them up, um, like right near that shock launcher I'm thinking. And then I'll uh, leave them there for a bit, and then I'm going to smoke, um, where am I going to smoke to? I'm going to smoke like somewhere up here past the mortars, and then once they get to around the flamethrowers, uh, I'm going to flare behind the shock launcher here, and then during their path, since I can't I can't uh, flare them in between these boom kids, because I'll, I'll lock onto one of them, so instead of... Um, Instead of doing that, I'm just going to bypass it and get them going in that direction um, towards the shock launcher. And then, as soon as they get in that area of the boom cans, then I'm going to flare on the core. And uh, from there, I should need... <clears throat> I should only need... One, two, three shocks to finish. Uh, those mortars are going to be ranged too, eh? Mm. Isn't Ziad doing coin? Um... No, I don't think so. I think we can manage this. Um, yeah, we'll take a look at the other bases here. Uh, we, we actually had two attacks that left the left the left two bases with like just under fifty thousand health, which was kind of uh, kind of um, kind of annoying to have to to waste an attack for the sake of like just using GBE on the core or whatever. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and boost on up here, guys. I'll show you as soon as I'm done boosting what. Uh, so I finally crushed all my crab stones. It took that long, seriously. Um, I had like 30 plus shards of each and um, like multiple masterpieces, I think. But we're finally getting back to a, to a normal thing here. So I, I'm down to 59, so I was at uh, 70 pretty well right there uh, before I just boosted. So they are kind of uh, on the rise again, guys. Okay, all right, here we go. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna get the chicken guy way up here. Um, how am I going to want to do this? I'm going to want to flare to that shock launcher. I guess I'll flare over to the right a bit more, because um, I'm going to need... I don't want to barrage these mines, because that's going to cost too much. I think I can get all of them just like that. All five of them. Okay, perfect. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm gonna want to take out this mine as well. And I'm gonna have to, I, I'm gonna need the rest of my GB just for like landing and stuff. So I did look at this before, I know that nothing's in range when I just kind of fly down like this. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and throw this first smoke out right about there. And then we're going to flare up this way. Hopefully we can stay off the mines. Okay, okay, rock launcher, just letting us know it's there guys, that's okay, that's okay. All right. <clears throat> So now I'm going to have to flare up kind of like over here. It's going to be close. It's going to be close to those mines, guys. Don't like that. Do not like that. Okay. All right. Now we're going to flare up this way. Something like that. And then over here. And then we're gonna lock onto the core, just like that. Oh, we're gonna step way out here. So bang, 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 bang. And hopefully we didn't lose too, too many Zookas there, guys. Uh, looks like we kinda did. Uh, what are we gonna do next? Uh, I'm gonna put her up there, I'm gonna throw a health kit down. Uh, that was the idea, we kinda got there. We kinda got there. Um, I'm not sure how that, that rocket launcher at the very bottom touched us up. Um, I felt like we had that. I felt like we had that. If you have less than 149, just deploy a boat to take out cells. Just don't flare troops back. Let them kamikaze. I'm not sure what he meant by that. but um, I don't know. I've definitely had worse attacks. That kind of sucks, though. I um, would have liked to finish that uh, for everybody. Uh, so we'll kind of just break it down here where we went, where we went wrong exactly. Um, the mines were good. The mines cleared were good. We speed it up a bit here. The landing was uh, pretty straightforward. But um, yeah, we cleared these guys. We didn't really lose many Zookas right there. Um, yeah, I don't think we, we didn't lose any there to the machine gun. We'll put it a little faster here. Um, I didn't touch any of that stuff. I might have been better off to bring a boat of heavies, but that would have made the, the smoking like super, uh, really annoying. I guess I, I, I kind of did it in chunks, so maybe if I had brought uh, a boat of heavies or two and then just shocked the back stuff because there was just like mortars and rocket launchers in range, nothing like... I guess there was all those boom cannons. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, two, three. I was really happy with how this worked out. Like it looked like it was going good here. I guess it w I should have double smoked here probably, considering I had uh, enough GBE for it. Because I guess that's right there is probably what cost me the raid. Um, looking back on it, yeah, that's exactly what happened. So, should have double smoked the uh, on the core there, because cause we got it down to about, what, halfway health here? Yeah, so if I had had all my Zookas, uh, I'm assuming that probably would have gone down or have been very close. So, just the double smoke on that little sideways path cost me, I guess, guys, so... Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, we're still in pretty good shape. We've got five attacks left. Three, five. Uh, Dredge is pretty easy solo, I think. Um, Arma is just GBE. Oh yeah, that's a super easy Dredge. So that's going to be solo. Someone can finish out uh, Conifold. Um, even if they screwed up like I did, they can still finish it fine. Uh, Excel should be... Uh, there's only 420, so... A lot of rockets there, but it should be doable. Uh, Atlas, we will take a look at this. And, oh yeah, this is, you could, you could do this with hookahs probably, just like straight on. Um, we'll see what the chat says here, guys. I could have sold Connie. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for the first half of, oh, oh we got another one. Okay, we, 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 we knew what you meant as yet. But that's going to wrap it up for the first half of the Operation Tax, guys. And we will see you in uh, in a moment. We're going to work some chicken magic here. And we're back, guys. So I think we're going to be diving on into uh, to Black River here in a second. But uh, before we do that, uh, we're going to go over kind of the last operation, uh, how it ended up uh, ending up. <laughs> Uh, so we, we did finish it, uh, what did we have, um, we'll show, um, 
We'll show Ziad. He finished. Uh, he finished up Connie for us, guys. And he actually showed us a better way of doing it, which is pretty cool to know. So he came in. Um, Sorry about that, hopefully the volume wasn't too loud before. Uh, we're back, we're doing the next operation. We finished the last one. I'm showing uh, showing Ziad's attack here. He he did it a different way than, uh, than chicken guys. He showed, uh, apparently this is the better way to do it. So basically he came off the right side, he cleared those boom mines. Uh, he smoked right up to the top and there's actually a little spot that you can flare in between these boom cannons. And, um, <clears throat> which is easier to do because it, it, it's not as hard to time it, obviously, right? Like you can just put it in there and it sticks. And then, um, he put the two smokes down, flared the core, uh, one, two, three, four shocks, and he was able to finish up from there. So shout out to Ziad, GH313, uh, that was a good attack there, and um, kind of clutched it up for us. So we've got a bit of a problem right now, guys. We got this guy that just joined, uh, for the sake of giving us intel, his name's Blumpkin. So shout out to Blumpkin for... Uh, uh, he's like he's level 26 and uh, yeah, so Basically we gave up a max player for a mine clear. So that's that's gonna be really interesting to see how this plays out guys um, we're, we're basically um, We're basically down a guy for this OP. Uh, we just had Christian go in on dredge uh, So we'll see what happens here. I was thinking about doing dredge, but he kind of jumped in so I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of... And nobody goes the way I expect them to on dredge. They always go to the back for some reason. I, I don't understand why. Like, is it not easier to just smoke up this way? Like, they're going all the way... Like, I guess you, you get extra GBE back here, especially because there's only shock launchers on the top and not rock launchers, but it just seems like... I don't know, it seems like a lot of work to, to go all the way up and around rather than just going straight through. Like, I, th I feel like you spend... Actually, this one's kind of rough because it's got the flamethrowers and, and all that junk right there, like, right on the core. You need, what, one, two like five shocks minimum uh, from what I can see I don't know this seems like a really difficult way to do it though and I think he just lost all of the zookas there on the laser so so that wasn't a good attack that wasn't a good attack but it happens guys it happens guys but um, there was something I wanted to show up here I had um, yeah we were, we were trying to get intel earlier um, oh, the chat didn't go back far enough. that's too bad um, it was that base I showed in the video yesterday that I, that I actually took down. I took it down with rifle, riflemen and tanks, uh, unboosted, which was pretty cool to see. Um, there's nothing else here, eh? Yeah, there's nothing else. We, we were trying to get intel, so I just basically had my map cleared. Um, let's skip down here. Should take SB. Sliding block. Alright guys, I guess that's us. Uh, so we're going to dive on into sliding block here. This one's really easy today. I think it's just like boom cans and stuff. So it should be like pretty straightforward. And by pretty straightforward, I mean literally straightforward. Like I'm just gonna put my troops down and send them straight forward and then win. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge here, guys. One, two, three. I'm gonna take out that mortar just because I can, and then I'm just gonna use critters on everything else. Wow, that, that thing's got a massive amount of health. Look at that. Look at that, that was like three barrage, six artillery. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw some shocks down. Uh, I'm gonna throw another one here because there's nine boom cannons there. Um, I guess we'll save, we should probably save the shocks for the, um, for the machine guns when we get up here in a bit. Uh, we are gonna gain back uh, GB really quickly on this, clear, especially clearing the cells out uh, over there. I'm going to come at this kind of from the right side, I think, once these boom cannons go down. And we're actually losing a lot of guys here. Um, so we need to kind of, we need to get the defenses cleared out of the way first before we start uh, going a little too chicken crazy here, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shock these things. Uh, the boom cannons are actually doing work on us. I'm very surprised that we're losing this many troops, like... We gotta start clearing out these freaking boom cans. Uh, there goes four. Okay, so we're just gonna flare up here. I'm gonna throw a health kit down there. And I don't think we're gonna get this. I, I don't think we're gonna get this. What is going on? These boom cans are just decimating us. Good lord. Get that last boom can. Okay. Now get out of the range of the snipers. 
We didn't do it. Oh my god. I can't believe that. There was that much single shot. Well. I can't believe that, guys. Seriously? I saw the guy do it the other day, and he literally just put two shocks up, and they just walked forward and cleared everything. Like, I'll, I'll show you the attack after. That's why I did this, because I, I literally saw him do it. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. So, between this and the, the Blumpkin thing, like, I, I, I don't see us finishing this operation, guys. Um... I don't understand how I lost that many Zookas, like, especially with all the critters and stuff that I'd thrown out, and, like, the shocks, too, like, that, uh, that kind of baffles me. I guess I, I probably should have brought, like, two or three boats of riflemen, maybe, but I didn't think it needed that much, like, extra work. Um, there's literally, like, there's hardly any point of me even standing here at this point, uh, because the next guy's just gonna come in with Zookas and just kind of finish it off. Uh, we'll go ahead and count the shield gems. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 10 plus 6, what do we got? 16. 16 shield gems. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy shield. I'd like to see what the health is on this, just to put that into perspective with all the, the Forlorn Hope uh, stats I tried to put out yesterday. Well, that, uh, that kind of sucks, guys, especially because we just spent, like, our task force, I mean, we just spent, like, the last half hour, like, clearing our maps. We could do Stronghold again, only to have this to show for it. But, uh, that's just the way she clucks sometimes, guys. Um, sometimes she, sometimes she clucks, sometimes she doesn't. It's just the way she clucks. Rack, rack, rack. Uh, yeah, so we got, uh, 20, 20 painful seconds left on this, guys. Uh, we're doing absolutely zero damage. We have five Zookas left. I can't believe that. Like, did I really need to bring riflemen? Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> There's nine boom cannons. I guess I shouldn't have taken out that mortar with GB. I honestly just didn't think that it was going to matter. Like, I thought we were just going to steamroll this base. Oh, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. So I hope you guys got a kick out of that one. We're, we're going to have to open up the chat. Apparently it's Brad on another account, so I guess there's a Brad in our task force or something. I don't see any Brads. Maybe he's just lost. I don't know. But, um... But, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the, uh, the operation attacks today, guys. Maybe we'll, we'll show a little better one than that, so we can kind of leave this on a high note, as opposed to whatever, um, kind of note that was. Uh, we'll show Nick and Knight here. He had a really good attack recently. Um... I guess this was it. Uh, so this was like right after mine. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I watched this one live. So this is how I think you should do dredge. I, I get that the other one's different, but I mean, coming in from this angle, you're gonna have way more uh, GBE for shocks and stuff. Like even with the the um, like all the cells that the guy cleared at the back over there. So basically, he needed one. Oh, just uh, dropped the uh, thing there. Um, he needed what? One, two. Two shocks? Is that it? I don't know. But yeah, I guess the other one had it needed like five shocks or something crazy, so maybe it uh, it needed to be dealt with differently. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the operation tax today, guys. Um, uh, yeah, it probably was Christian. It probably was, but uh, live and learn, live and chicken, guys, live and chicken. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the video today, guys. Make sure you leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one. Chicken out.